Indiana Governor Mike Pence as possibly being a contender to become Donald Trump's running mate. Uh, we know that uh, uh, the former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, is up there as well. What is your take? Do you have any suggestions for someone that you've known for so long? Well, what I thought was very interesting at our event was toward the end of it, Donald asked each of the people to come up with who did they think he should have for a vice presidential candidate. Mm -hmm. Well, you can imagine with 60 odd people, you had practically <laughs> 60 different what responses. What was your response? Well, what was interesting to me was Donald's response. On each name, he clearly knew the name, clearly had given at least some thought, and for each one, he would cite a positive and a possible negative. Hmm. So I thought that was very, very good because what it showed is this is not a seat of the pants process. He's giving very serious thought to who it should be, and he outlined some of the criteria. Hmm. Number one criterion he felt would be compatibility with the president. And I think he's right in that. You have to but have Wilbur, a unified team. Was there a common team. suggestion? Was there someone's name you heard thrown about more than others? in those suggestions? Well, there, there, there were some people uh, putting Gingrich's name out. Okay. There were people putting Condi Rice out. There were okay. people putting Rudy Giuliani out. Uh, one or two put out Gov General Flynn, but I don't think most people knew very much about uh, General Flynn. Okay. Um, so it was pretty much all over the lot. Wow. All right. Dagan McDowell's here. Uh, Wilbur, Anthony Scaramucci also raising money for Donald Trump tweeted over the weekend, and he was at that, that fundraiser. If people got to know, meaning Trump, they would be confident in him as president. So how are you going to take the money that is being raised and convince the American voter of that confidence and of that uh, ability to lead? All right. Well, first of all, Anthony was at the event and was very helpful in terms of bringing some of his friends uh, to it. Um, in terms of carrying the message forward, I, I wish that the whole event had been televised because I think it would have given the American public a view of the real Donald Trump, a serious, thoughtful person, very much on message. Right. And so I hope that that Donald Trump shows up more as time goes forward. So it was $100,000 per couple for the host committee and lunch, $25,000 per person uh, for that lunch. Right. And in total, over $50 million well, raised. Okay. I mean, it was, it was uh, th those are big numbers for Donald Trump. Well, he deserves it and, and he needs it. For June, uh, yeah. He needs less money than the other candidates because he gets so much earned yeah. media. Yeah. Not, not, that all of, not that all of the media is that favorable, but it's a constant He's a constant news item. He's a news phenomenon. Gotcha. So, and to, to reiterate, for June, Trump, 26 million from small donations, uh, 25 million from, from the larger donations, uh, 50 million for the month. Wilbur Ross, thanks for giving us that inside look. Good to hear well, from you. Well, thank you, Sandra. Good to be on with you.